you can create music player controls in Scratch without using any sprites. First, add the songs you want to loop using one of the options in the bottom corner of the Sounds tab. Next, create a variable named something like Song Number, and set the song number to 1 when the green flag is pressed to start on the first song. Create a new broadcast message and name it something like Play. Then attach that block to some events block like the green flag, when a key is pressed, or when the game starts to give the user some different options for starting the music. You can choose to play the song forever, once, or even have it loop for a set number of times when you receive play. Remember to use the play sound until done block, or you'll get a weird glitch with the start sound block. Here's what it would sound like. Put your song number variable inside of the play song until done block to make it so we can easily switch songs with our variable. If the song doesn't repeat forever, we can switch to a new song using a message like broadcast next song. When we receive the next song, change the song number by one and then broadcast play again. But now we want to add a stop all sounds block before we play the song so it doesn't play two songs at the same time. You can broadcast next song when a button is clicked, when a user gets to a new level, or when a user presses a key to change to the next song. We can switch to the previous song by changing the song number by minus one and broadcasting play when a button or key is pressed by the user or even when the user goes back to a previous level. To stop the music, attach a stop all sounds block and one of the stop blocks to a message like when I receive stop. Just remember to broadcast that message with some kind of an events block. If you want to tinker with the code, there's a direct link to this project in the description. And while you're there, check out my playlist for even more scratch tips or to learn how to teach computer science.